Today, local and federal investigations after three U.S. postal trucks had mail stolen on Monday. Chicago police issued a community alert describing the mail thefts as happening in the 4300 block of North Milwaukee Avenue between 4.05 and 4.20 Monday afternoon, then in the 6300 block of West Strong Avenue at 4.21 p.m., and in the 900 block of South Mayfield Avenue at 5.45 p.m. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service calls these crimes of opportunity as the carriers were out of their vehicles delivering mail at the time. Enough is enough and something has to be done. The president of the local letter carriers union says although Monday's incidents, carriers were not approached. A carrier was robbed at gunpoint on North Lockwood the Monday before. I mean, when she got up to them, they're like, hey, what's going on? It kind of startled her, so she took herself out of harm's way. Okay, and, but she was nervous and she was upset. We're looking for deterrence. The assistant secretary treasurer for the national organization says he is eager to see movement on local and national legislation to make it safer for carriers. He says at a time when the public is relying even more on USPS for mail, retail and medications, crime against carriers can impact service. It's a very traumatic uh, incident uh, for some. And, you know, they're not quite the same. Some don't return to the streets, return back to their routes right away. And, and some never return. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service is drafting a letter for customers who may have been affected by the recent mail thefts. There is a $100,000 reward being offered in this case. Additionally, the agency recommends customers sign up for informed delivery so they can track what items are to be delivered. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.